will excuse you. Yeah, please do. Please do. I was like, whoa. You can use carpet. You can use carpet. You can use carpet. So Christopher, what did you think? Uh, yeah, I thought that was uh, a really good speech, like just the way she presented it. I mean, her voice is really clear. She seemed to know a lot about the topic, you know. And um, it was her voice. I mean, like, she had all the information down. She cites a lot of people. Uh, she does give good reasons. I have to say, like, you know, how people, some people are not motivated. They don't know how to do it. Could get injured and stuff like that. Um, she could give a little bit more of like why someone would not want to have a training, I guess. But overall, uh, I think she did a pretty good job explaining everything and why you should um, get a training. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I like the personal experience also. I think you're personable in the introduction. That's actually the best part where you're talking to the audience. Once you get into uh, the preview of the material, though, you kind of become more script dependent and you step out a little bit uh, of the personable uh, way of relating. Although your voice is very solid, you, you really have that page in front of you that you have to refer to so much and that's a little distracting. Uh, but I did think that the labeling of your se secondary points is really clear. I like the transitions that you had. I thought you provided very good information in supporting your point. You had some positive visualizations. Uh, you dealt with some motivational issues about safety and accomplishing your goals, so you've got that uh, self-actualization thing going on there. Your gestures are a little limited because of the uh, script in your hand as well, but the material is nicely developed and I think uh, presented uh, with the exception of the hands and your eyes pretty effectively. All right, thank you.